appreciate it. So, a judgment was made on this situation. This person is having a lot of burdens. Or this person, this ex-partner to your partner, Taurus, they wanted to create a lot of burdens in the relationship. So much so that you split. Once you break up, you know, because this is you, Taurus. King of Pentacles, you stand on top. I'm here standing on top of a mountain. I don't know why. <laughs> but... Okay, it's like you run the city. Okay, some of you could be a mayor, someone in high demand. Um, I'm here, entertainer. I'm here, uh, someone of a political nature, someone in politics you could be as well. And they try to break you and your spouse apart because they want your spouse. They want your partner, Taurus. Okay, for those who don't have a spouse, someone is, is basically being nosy in the background. Because whoever this person is headed in your direction that you don't know heading in your direction, Taurus, they have an ex that's looking in on them. Intuitively, I'm telling you this. They have an ex that's looking in on them. And this ex wants to make sure they don't head towards anyone. Okay, so they don't know about you yet. They just have an inkling. They know that their ex is headed in the direction of wealth and finances. And they're trying to stop that, Okay. Not you per se, but the partner that you will be with in the future, Taurus. So this person is trying to create burdens. Um, just be mindful when dating or when meeting someone that you are very fond of, Taurus. That this person you're dating, male or female Taurus out there, the person, this new individual that you're coming in contact with or that you soon will date in the future, Taurus. There is burdens that will be put upon or placed upon your relationship due to this person's ex, baby daddy, ex, baby mama, ex, spouse, whoever it is, it's an ex. Okay, so just be mindful. They're over there blowing judgments on trying to create burdens. Tell me more about this ex of Taurus's partner. Yeah, King of Wands reverse. That's the ex. To your partner, Taurus. Temperance. Heavy fire energy. We got Sag and Leo. This person, this ex to your person or to your future person, Taurus. This ex to your person is an alcoholic. They drink a lot, which causes them a lot of emotional instability. We got the nine of cups there proving that they drink a lot. They like to create a lot of drama, a lot of chaos and conflict and competition. They like to put themselves where they really don't need to be. They really don't need to be in competition for what? You are an ex. Stay in your place. Keep in your lane, boo. Okay? This person is all out of control drinking. Heavily on the worries and burdens that they have. So they would try to put that on a new relationship from their ex that you're, you're going to or about to be with, Taurus. They want to create drama and conflict so it can split you two up. Stand your ground, Taurus. Stand your ground. Because if you really like this new person that you're going to come in contact with in the future, but no man put us under. This person will not be successful. Although they'll come back around keep trying because they mentally stuck in their damn head. And be mindful this person is a warlock or a witch. But they're going to be unsuccessful with any magic they may wield your way. This person is weak of will, weak of mind. They not they like to manipulate and lie. This person is a player. They a hoe. They a hoe. Male or female, they a hoe. We got two hoe cards on the board. Look. Queen of Wands reverse with the Knight of Wands. Ho. Oh, this is a hoe. So I don't understand why they would give you a new person problems. Like, what the hell? Come on now. I don't see where they want them back. They just want to get this person problems. Like, what the what are we dealing with? What is wrong with people? Like, I don't see... It appears they want them back. That's the appearance. But with the tarot, it is not showing that the ex to your partner or future partner, Taurus, wants them back. They just want to create misery for this individual. Show me more. It's, uh, this feels like a long reading. <laughs> you know, I'm digging. Either way. Give me more on this ex-partner, the Taurus, his current or new or future partner. Give me more information on this person. What is their reason for burdening Taurus's 
new companion. What is this person's reading? You're a new person or current person that you are with or person you will run into towards to date. They were dealing with someone who's a Gemini that had a choice between two lovers. This person couldn't make up their mind. They were given it. Look, two. See the two people? And two. They wanted to have this person stagnant, breadcrumbing them, mistreating them until this person, you are an angel sent by God, Taurus. You came in this person's life for a reason. This person that you're a new person that you'll meet in the future or you currently with, Taurus, their ex hates them. They want to put them through some drama. They don't even like them. They don't have no love for this person. They had them in third-party situations, giving it to breadcrumbing. Look, they were dealing with a, a, a I see Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person was mean to your person. They were being a witch. Say it nicely. Queen of Swords reverse. I'm mean, Queen. Ooh, Jesus, it was a year sign. But we got Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah, they were being mean. Steadfast me, they were betraying your new person. Ten times over, backstabbing them. And they knew what they were doing. And they were doing it while they were drunk. I'm hearing orgies, sex parties, partying. This person, your current person, your way or the new person, your future boo, Taurus, male or female Taurus, is your future boo is not like that. They didn't do orgies. They don't drink. They don't smoke. They don't. They may go to the club if you know you entice them to go or not entice them, but you know, I ask them to go. This person is is almost like a homebody. They're I'm hearing sheltered. Like this person may work, take care of kids, that's it, Taurus. But this ex of theirs was woo choice between two people, seriously. Why would you have a choice between two people? You were already with that person in that relationship, meaning not only were you breadcrumbing, but you were also lying. You didn't even like, they didn't even like your person. They were using your person. I'm hearing usury. Using your person. Had your person wrapped in all black magic. They was doing water, water spells on. The ex was doing water spells on your person. With this ace of cups reverse and this queen of wands reverse. They were messing with their emotions through magic. That came to an end. All that backstabbing and betrayal. And that's what created that breakup. They didn't care what they were doing. Five of Cups reversed. Ain't no regrets. Your person recovered. Blocked them out and moved on. See, look, air sign. They were dealing with an air sign. Yep, Gemini. And they cut them off. And they held back their money, their time, their energy away from this person. This person was causing your person depression. And causing them to be stuck in their head. Not moving. They were blocking their opportunities. Your person got out of this. Eight of Swords reversed. Got out of it. Got out of that mental imprisonment with this person doing black magic on their mind and their emotions. And they walked away. They got away from them. They're not even communicating with this individual. Yet this individual of theirs is spying and talking crap about them because they're unstable. They're probably homeless. They're probably losing money. Whatever. But either way, Taurus, you have a good person on your hand. This new person. It's very good for you. This is your fit. This is your match. Source said this is your soulmate. That person was not their soulmate. That was a dead ass karmic. God, Jesus, I'm trying not to curse. That was a dead ass karmic, okay? That person was using spells on that ex partner to your new current or future boo was using magic on them for being straight mean. And they was a hoe. So it's like, wow, they were using your person. And your person is an earth angel, Taurus, is what I'm hearing. Your person is an earth angel. Your person still is an earth angel. This person is person very loyal to you, never cheat on you. Okay? They won't even lie to you. You will know their every move. They barely go out. They barely go anywhere. This is someone who's quiet. Your person, Taurus, has been put through the ringer, and it's not fair. Their ancestors moved them out of the way for a reason. Who's using your nail clippings to hex you? Someone's using Taurus's nail clippings. This is just so weird. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you know how it be. You got to watch people. Make sure you have your Santa Martha protection up. The white one. 
do not, and I repeat you, I kid you not, don't use that black one. Because if you got a lot of negative energy, especially from your new your new group's ex, and that person is a witch or warlock, okay, it resonates, okay, and they mess with the dark side, if you have a black sun don't work thing, you're using it for protection, and you see red eyes at night, that's the bad side. That's what I'm telling you. Do not use the black one. Use the white one at all times. Health and healing. Use the white one. Trust me when I tell you. Who's using the nail clippers to Taurus? Like, seriously? We still doing this with the nail clippings? Someone's using your nail clippings, Taurus, to hex you. Why am I seeing a voodoo doll? Okay. Give me a second. <sighs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Who's using Taurus's nail clippings to hex them? Ooh. Where is doing this trying to block your opportunities in your new beginnings and uh, finances? They're trying to create a lot of burdens. Okay, but who is this? This person is trying to block a lot of financial opportunities headed your way. You have a lot of good luck when it comes to finances, Taurus. Although you, you're popping up at the Queen of Pentacles here, but in front of you is the Temperance. Definitely someone's trying to, again, create imbalance in your life, in, in your situation. Could have been someone someone that did not make you happy, someone you were not happy with. You could have been drinking buddies. I don't know. Fit it to your story. Knight of Swords reverse. Slowly moving away from this person. This person who's doing this is a Leo strength card here with the Sun reverse. Highly aspected Leo or Woo, Sun and Leo. You're dealing with a Leo here that's doing this. Whoever's do, took, took your nail clippings. <laughs> yeah, look, Master Magician. Someone who likes uh, Master Manifester here. This Leo, and I'm going to show you. This person's not happy. They're not happy at the way things are going with this Knight of Swords reverse. They're not happy with the way things are moving with you. All right, they're, so they're trying to, it's like someone's trying to take their energy and put it on you. Like, if I'm happy, I'm going to project that and make that person unhappy too. And that's going to throw them off balance. It's going to mess with them. And it's going to block their opportunities. Uh, block your opportunities. Tell me more about this this individual using Taurus's nails, nail clippings to hex them. I'm hearing for some of you... This person live with you. Queen of Swords, Aquarius energy. Get with a hex card again. Doing stuff at night, being very deceptive. Yes, this person can talk clearly to you, but at the same time, it's like this person will hide truth with lies. Two of Pentacles reverse. Higher friend, some of you are married to this individual, Eight of uh, Pentacles. Someone may have wanted you to marry them. You didn't want to work towards that. Because you've seen this person being very deceptive. So you made the choice not to work towards marrying this individual. They were being completely deceptive with you. Although they appear to communicate how truthful they are. Clear communication, whatever the case may be, this person is still being deceptive, carrying that Aquarius energy. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand doing type of energy this person is carrying. But definitely, two of pentacles reverse. You're no longer juggling the decision or the idea to try to be in a high level of commitment with this individual. You don't want to work towards this. And this is the person that took your nail clippings and decided to hex you with this moon card here and this hierophant. Definitely made a payment to a spiritual shop to try to do something to you. But this other Taurus energy here decided they didn't want to hex you. They're not doing it. Mm -mm. They're not doing it. So for some of you out there, whoever you were living with, that, that y'all may have had a discussion about marriage and becoming a family. And you said no. This person went off. Because they're mad, okay? But they're not showing their anger. 
Because now they're an upright as queen of swords. They're not showing you their anger. Because if they show you their anger, it will have been choice words between you and this individual. Queen of swords reversed, but it's not reversed. It's an upright. Okay? Definitely, clearly, you're going to see through this that this person was trying to do things to you. <laughs> they took your nail clippings and went to a whole other person to try to do a, a voodoo spell on you. You know what I'm saying? Try to hex you. Hex your money. We got pinnacles up here. We even got the ace of pinnacles falling out. There's your opportunities from source. Your blessings. Your financial blessings. Your financial windfall in another year or so coming to you. And this person was trying to hex it. Trying to block you out. Same person that you're living with. Some of you living with this interview. Why is this wish coming? Woo! Lord. Some of you are also witches, Taurus. I see you manifesting your opportunities here. <laughs> Make sure you use your intuition, though, because I see you using the dark arts. Don't do that. You don't need to do that. If it's meant for you, if you are spiritually wealthy, not rich, wealthy, honey, in the 5D, it'll, it'll, it will come to you in the 3D. You don't have to use dark magic. Um... We got four of wands reverse, and we have four cups. We have fours across the board. This is all about financial stability, and we have the eight reversed, okay? Definitely someone wanted you to lose your finances, but you have a lot of opportunities manifested here coming for you. You may not be happy now because maybe you had a lot of rejected offers. You could have also, Taurus, been rejected for some sort of work. Like, you may have applied for a job and got rejected. That's what I'm looking at right here. Okay, due to the fact that someone was trying to throw hexes at you and create you having an unhappy like you're not happy at the house because a lot of financial opportunities are not going your way, and it's due to the fact that this person is doing hex spells on your finances, they're manifesting this, uh, especially through moon magic, waxing, uh. Waning gibbous, I hear waning gibbous making things go away, and I hear definitely on a full moon. With this moon diagonally across from the magician. And the magician, the higher fence diagonally, it's like they're making an a inverted uh, triangle here. Okay, ain't that the earth symbol? The earth element symbol is the inverted triangle with the line going across. Two pinnacles would be that line. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is crazy. Because with the fire element, you know, the fire element is the triangle. The earth element is the inverted triangle with the line going across. So we've got the moon, which would be the point to the inverted triangle. The magician would be the bottom part of the inverted triangle. And the higher point this way would be the other point to the inverted triangle. And then the two pentacles would be the line that go across. Definitely someone trying to make you lose money. Because they see you do have opportunities. You may have even talked to this person about your financial opportunities and abundance that's coming to you. And this person went and took it upon themselves to try to stop it, try to make you lose it. So you'll be unhappy. But I see that for most of you, if this person did go to someone to pay them to make you lose your finances through the use of your nail clippings, this person who's also another tourist, they're not working on it. They're rejecting this. This person read your spirit. And for the person who is trying to use your nail clippings, Taurus, to go against you and make you lose your finances, they got the wheel of fortune, bad karma. Nothing's going to go in their favor right now. They have to suffer through it. Now they meant, they they in a mental, uh, what do you call it, mental conflict over it. And it was this king of wands, this king of wands reversed it again. He, this, this person popped up all through your reading. This someone... Heavily that you know, Taurus. Someone heavily that you know. With that being said, this is your reading. Whew, if you'd like to book a personal reading, all that information will be found in the description box below. With that being said, be blessed, Taurus. This reading will be a part one and a part two, meaning that it is at 5639. Peace.